Welcome to another episode of Don Alfin on Fishing. I've got my good buddy Rod Beckstead with me, and I promised him I was going to help him learn how to use a long liner, which is the way to catch kokanee without having to have a downrigger. So um, this is the little contraption that we're going to be talking about today. It's a long liner. I've got uh, five ounces of weight on it. Um, it's really cool. You, you set it like this, and then when the fish hits it, it uh, releases and goes right down to your flasher. Uh, all I'm using today is, is just going to be a nice uh, pink and, and silver flasher with a, with a pink um, spinner that uh, uh, made by uh, Lakeshore Tackle, Colton Christensen. And um, anyway, so we're going to be talking today about long liners and, and, and how great they are to use and how it, it, it makes it so that everybody that has a, a boat can, uh, can go ahead and catch kokanee without worrying about having to have downriggers. So thanks again for watching. Stay tuned and you'll, uh, you'll hopefully get a, we'll hopefully get a few fish in the boat. And uh, we're going to be using pink Berkeley maggots as far as baits. And uh, sit back and relax and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And uh, hopefully we'll put some fish in the boat and have a great time of it. By the way, it's uh, afternoon. We didn't get on the water until after 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So I think I might name this video, if it works out, Afternoon Delight. Are you ready to get it? I'm ready to net. To net this thing? Okay, let's get him on in. Oh, there he came off. All right, that's okay. Darn. Well, here's another one on the... Oh, it's already up to the surface. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Look at that kokanee out there. Jumper. It is a jumper. That's so much fun. <laughs> The long liner strikes again. So, so obviously the green thing is the long liner, and basically all we're doing is we we you know thread it through the line and the way they do it. Go ahead and break that. It didn't break again. So, but this is the first time we've really used it this year. So I'm so I'm not. Go ahead. It broke. No, it didn't. Just just oh, so all he does is hold it, pull both sides of the line, and then it's just going to go right down to the to the flasher and then we're gonna kind of just slowly reel up and remember this is the rod that's kind of like a fly rod I may not use this again because it's a little bit too flimsy but uh, man it's sure fun to catch these fish on it it's like you have a whale every time you here it is there you ready to get it so I'm just gonna very very slowly kind of bring it over there it is good nice job not a bad this is not a bad uh, size fish, watch out, we've got it coming out. That's all right, we got it. That's all right. Nice fish. Okay, so all you do is you hold the long liner. I've just got the flasher and the... This happens to be pink. I'm using pink right now. Both a pink flasher and a and uh, just a pink spinner. This is a happens to be a Lakeshore Tackle... Uh, Colton Christensen special, but but now I'm just I'm just letting the line go out. You can see the line going out, and uh, I'm just going to go out about 50 50 feet, and then all I do is snap this. Okay, and um, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to going to try to get it a little tiny bit um, tuned up so it'll. So it'll break itself without me having to do it. And so I'm gonna just check it and see. And ah, still needs to be tuned just a little tiny bit. So that just means I'll loosen this up a little bit, take the main, the main um, knob and turn it until I can, yeah, there it is. Now, now I can get it in there. All right, Rod's gone on. They got the, the famous uh, blue pole. You know, my mother had a little, a little blue pole that my dad used to always throw out for her, and I haven't seen a blue pole for a long time, so when I saw this one, I had to get it. Have you got the... It already broke. Oh, it broke perfectly. That's what we were hoping. Got the fish right here, so we'll just see if we can't net it. There we go. We're doing well. Oh gosh, it's 3.20 in the afternoon. Kokanee don't bite in the afternoon, don't you know that? <laughs> Go ahead and get the... 
Oh, it came well, off? Yeah, it Come came off. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm actually hooked up. He hooked me in the... There we go. <laughs> Easy for you to do. Got it? Perfect. Nice there job. You. Okay. That's good, Rod. There's, there's, there's Rod Beckstead right there. Ripping a little drag. <laughs> Ripping some drag off the, off of Grandma Alfin's uh, blue pole. <laughs> strong fish. Yeah, it looks like it's a strong fish. I'm gonna take yours, your one out the back, and I'm gonna put it over here on this side. I don't think we're ready for a net quite yet, I but. Yeah, go ahead and. Keep bringing it, up, bring it on up. We'll bring it in. He's a head shaker. Look at that rod shake. Yep, I like that. It's like he's tail wrapped or something. Something's a little weird. All right, we'll figure it out when we get out when he gets up here. That's my guess, tail wrap. So tail wrap, huh? Speak a little bit louder into the tail old camera. Wrap. There you go. Now, now you got it. They got it with us. That's my guess. Okay. Well, we came over those big lake trout, and we knew the kokanee were above the lake trout. So who knows where we're where we're going to be? And the, the, it worked perfectly, the long liner worked perfectly. So, wow. let's see what we've got. Oh, it's the flasher that's sideways. You just take your time with it. You just back up a little tiny bit. We should be there, we're there, good job. That worked, so the, the flasher was sideways. twisted. That's what it was. When it when it hit, it twisted it. But that's a nice. That's another really nice fish. Yeah, it is. I'm not going to complain about those kind of fish in this boat. So what do you think about the long liner, Rod? I, I love it. It's great, <laughs> it's great it's isn't stealthy, it? It's quiet. It's quiet. We don't have any trolling motor running. Quiet. Let's just go ahead and get that off, and we'll put it put okay. it in. Just lift that up and got it. Okay, we're good. Well, it's been a few minutes since we've got a, a fish on this, but we've got another fish on the, the fly rod. <laughs> this is the Sierra C, uh, series rod by Gary Dobbins. And boy, I'll tell you what, I'm I'm liking the rod as, as far as uh, everything except it, it feels like you're bringing in a whale, but I know a lot of people like that feeling, so you certainly can't horse them in. You have to play them for all they're worth. <laughs> Now the only problem I've got here is that we haven't seen a fish for a while and uh, I was worried about it being a, uh, you, I get the net, you ready? Yeah. Uh, I was worried about it being a lake trout because of that, but I think it's, it's a kokanee. Beautiful, beautiful coke. Go ahead and open up the live well and we'll get this and put away if we can. There we go. Okay, so there's a long liner. I've got actually five ounces of weight on. There's a two ounce and there's a five, uh, three ounce. So we've got five ounces of weight. And then, and then my, got a simple uh, pink flasher with a, just a standard uh, pink uh, spinner. Uh, Colton Christensen tackle for most of this stuff. And uh, see, are we all set to go out? Now I can let it go out. So I just let it let it go, and as soon as I can get it unwrapped from the line, which happens every once in a while, 
then we can just let that baby just go on out. And, uh, and I'm letting it go out probably, oh gosh, I guess I'm about between 50 and 75 feet behind the boat. Um, which is great. I like to have it that far away. It just makes it easier for the fish to come up and no worries about what they've got. Uh, and uh, it works out really well. So I let it go out. I'm still letting it go out. I'm still letting it go out. Still letting it go out. There's where I am. And so I'm just going to pop this down like this and uh, drop it on in. Then I let it go down about 25 feet right now. And that's, it's just a, I'm just guessing. I'm not, not, I'm not that particular on this stuff. And uh, then with me, I just sit down where I'm normally seated. I have a little makeshift rod holder that I came up with. And there's my rod. And there is rod right there. <laughs> okay, Rod, can't keep a good man down. Bring that baby in. This is a Coke. Oh, shh. Acts like it is. Here, I'll just take that and put it over on this other side. Whoa, little run. Little run on it, huh? Looking good, looking good, my friend. We were just deciding that that's number, this will be number seven for us in a couple of hours. You realize we've only been out for two hours? That's pretty good. Pretty good Not too sh shabby for the afternoon, right? Coke. It is a Coke. For sure and for certain. Uh -oh. Get him out of your other line. He went under, <laughs> oh, he come off. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. He's excited, though. Kind of carefully. He's a nice fish. Is it close enough? There you go. There we are. He's a beauty. That's a great one. Another good one. Right. Rod here, without any help from me, put out his his long liner so he's got it uh, he's holding on to the green portion of the long liner and he's letting that gonna go out he's gonna let it go out between 50 and 75 feet he's only got uh, four ounces of weight on so he's a little bit higher in the column than I am but as soon as he gets that that out uh, the reason that we're not in any specific well let's just finish this so he's just gonna let that drop straight down as we're going, we're going 1.5 miles an hour. And uh, he's gonna let that go down about uh, 25 feet or so. And then he's gonna, then he's going to uh, set the rod down and we're done. So he's now, he's now back fishing. Well, the reason that we're not telling you the specific depth that we're fishing is because there are no schools of kokanee that are actually visible. Uh, what I've been doing is I've been keying on the lake trout. So we've had lake trout at, at about 40 to 50 feet. And, um, and therefore, we're just assuming that the kokanee uh, are, there are not many in a, in a school, but they're above the lake trout. So if you see lake trout on the screen and you know them by, because of their arcs, then, um, then basically that's what you're doing is you're, is you're going to be above that. So we have one rod set at uh, maybe 10 to 12 feet down. And that's the one in the middle, and that's caught several fish. And then we've got, um, then we've got a, uh, uh, a rod with, uh, with four ounces of weight that's going to get him down to about 30 to 30, eh, maybe 25 to 30, depending on how fast we go or slow, and we're going 1.5. And then I've got five ounces of weight on, and I know that I'm getting down between 35 and 38 feet. So that's how, that's how we're doing it, and every rod's caught fish. So... Once again, the key is not necessarily seeing the kokanee schools while we're doing this today. It's, um, it's, it's noticing the lake trout and realizing that they're going to be just underneath the kokanee school. So you've got to be above the lake trout that you're showing on your finder. Out of that little school we just saw, that, that one came right out. Definitely a coke.
going nuts. It's busy. It's gonna jump. Oop. Come at me a little. Come on, baby. Yes, it was the 25 pole. Yeah, I, I think we tightened. 25 pole got me at the right depth. Did it? <laughs> There we go. Looks like a little gondola. Bringing it on in. We're ready? Yeah, we're ready. Uh oh, he got off. He got off. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. I know, I'm just saying out of the net. Now he knows he's hooked. <laughs> there we go. Well look, that's hey, this that's our eighth fish. We're 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 filled up. Yeah, he's been bit. Regardless of what you say. He's a little scarred. So, uh, listen, hold on there, Rod. Let me let me close this thing. Okay. Thanks again for watching Don Alfin on fishing today. We've been talking long liners, and uh, and and uh, we've got a nice limit of fish. It took us two and a half hours to get eight fish, plus a nice lake trout in the in the boat, and uh, and and we're ready to go on in. So. Long liners is a great is a great thing. Look at the in the description underneath the. Uh, oh, look at that! That's a nice one. Let's get it in the in the uh, live well. But um, the 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 long liner is a fantastic way for people that do not have um, downriggers that would still like to compete with everybody. And and Rod, I'm going to have you. Uh, Tell me again what you think about the long liners. Lovely. First time you've ever used them. It's, it's How hard are they to use? Very simple. Very easy. Very easy. Takes a little tiny bit, about five minutes of, 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 of training, and you're off doing your own thing. So, anyway, thanks again for watching. Oh, well, let's look down in there. And that there's some pretty nice fish down there. Really nice fish. It is the uh, 18th of May, and we're heading on in. Thanks again for watching, and have a great day.